Okay, so some of the questions on the written exam that deal with automatic direction finders, ADFs, can appear to be quite tough indeed. But as usual, our job at Pilot Training Solutions is to turn something complicated into something a baby can do. So again, let's turn an ADF into a simple to use instrument and how about giving you an easy method to answer all the difficult questions on the written exams. Let's say we have a heading indicator on a heading of 300 and a fixed card ADF also showing a relative bearing of 300 to the station and we are asked to find out our magnetic bearing to the station. Now the long way is to use the formula MH plus RB equals MB which in this case would be 300 plus 300 equals 600 and then we have to subtract 360 because there is no angle greater than 360 and finally we get an answer of 240. Seems easy enough, but the reality of it is that if you're using radio equipment to get to your destination, you're probably either lost or in bad weather. In both these cases, you're already behind the airplane, and using math to get back ahead of it might not be the best way to go about things. So let's forget the math and formulas. What if we could visualize the answer without having to complicate our life? Well, that's what we're here for. What we're going to do is transform the heading indicator and ADF into a radiomagnetic indicator, an RMI, and read the answer directly from it. All we need to do is transfer the needle from inside the ADF into the heading indicator. So we draw the heading indicator again and move the ADF needle inside of it. Now we just read the number the needle points to in the heading indicator. As you can see, the head points to 240, the same number we found using the formula. And if the question had asked the magnetic bearing from, then we would just read the tail of the needle, 060. Now, for this question here, the answer is fairly simple with either method, but sometimes the question is far more complicated than just that. For example, one of the toughest figures on the instrument written the one that over the years I have seen students struggle with over and over again. Figure 105. Let's take a look at it. So here is the dreaded figure 105. A typical question will ask, if the magnetic heading shown for airplane 7 is maintained, which ADF illustration would indicate the airplane is on a 120 magnetic bearing from the station? So the first thing we need to do is look at airplane number 7. And we notice that airplane number 7 has a heading of 270. So we're going to draw a heading indicator on a heading of 270. Now we need to transform this heading indicator into an RMI. And to do so, all we need to do is put an ADF needle inside of it, and that needle's tail needs to be pointing to 120 because the question said we were on a 120 magnetic bearing from the station so the tail would be on 120 and the head obviously on 300. Now all that is left to do is match our needle to the ADFs on the bottom of figure 105. I look at figure number one nope that needle is straight ahead. Two is 60 degrees to the right not 30. Three is on the left side. Four is the exact opposite since the head points to 120 instead of the tail but look at number five. Uh, now this one's a perfect match. If I try to match the needles, as I'm showing right now, we have an exact match. So number five is the correct answer. And that's how you answer all of the questions on the dreaded figure 105. It is that simple. And for more information on this topic and many others, check out passfaexams.com.